My beloved brethren, hear the message of the angels. This weekend, behold, a divine shift is coming your way. Stand firm in your strength and let not your faith waver. In the moments of your deepest weakness, let your faith shine brightest. For you are not just a mere mortal, but a foundation layer for those who will come after you. Your actions, no matter how seemingly insignificant, will have a lasting impact on the lives of those in your midst. Exercise caution, my brethren. Be as wise as serpents and as gentle as doves. While those around you may live as if there is no tomorrow or accountability, know that your life carries far greater power than you realize. I have raised you up to be a beacon of holiness and devotion, a model for others to follow. Make it your mission to pursue your own goals while simultaneously saving the lives of those around you. This is a time of recompense, a season where the seeds you have sown in the past are beginning to bear fruit. Some will reap the consequences of unwise choices and selfish living, while others will taste the sweetness that these decisions have brought forth. Speak of my kindness and grace to those who are in pain and suffering. Let your words be the purifying agent that opens the door to a new path for those who are stuck and unable to see a way out. To the hopeless, bring hope, and to the weary, bring rest until the day is done and your duty is fulfilled. I am well aware of the commitments you have made. When you find yourself wondering if anyone sees your efforts, remember that heaven is watching. This is what truly matters. I see your unwavering pursuit of the kingdom and your commitment to a life of purity. Encourage yourself as you journey forward. Know that your destination is closer than it appears. Stay vigilant and persistent, for nothing shall hinder you from receiving the promises I have made. The seeds you have planted and the efforts you have exerted to improve your vision will bear fruit. Gather new strength and courage for the days ahead. Rest in my favor when your energy wanes and your focus becomes hazy. Laugh, unwind and seek the company of those who bring love and joy. My favor is at work even while you sleep. I did not ask you to toil to exhaustion to receive what I have promised. There is a time for separation before the separation. Do not neglect the need for rest, for I have created and designed you and your humanity to take time to rejuvenate. I work while you rest, so enter into my rest. Enjoy all that this day is to offer. And when tomorrow dawns, be ready to step back into the wheel of destiny. Embrace the grace to rise above the burdens that weigh you down. I, the God of easy yokes and light burdens, have not chosen the heavy-duty option for you. The yoke of brutality is not your portion. The anointing that rests upon the head now flows down upon you, breaking the heavy chains of decline and suffering. Accept and partake of what I have accomplished for you on the cross. Drink deeply from the well of refreshment that I have provided. Step into life and live abundantly, for it is your birthright as one born on you. You are above 
not beneath. I have exalted you high above all powers and principalities in myself. No other hand shall touch you but the hand of my blessing. No controlling force in your life can usurp my dominion. Refuse to be entangled in the laws and goods of this material world. I have made you a master of the material realm. Just as I calmed storms and multiplied food, so the very essence of who I am within you is calming the storms within your soul and providing abundant provision for all your needs. Embrace this truth and internalize the principle of ascension that Calvary has enabled in your life. I have set you free from striving and toiling. My beloved, your time has come to rest. The blessings I bestow bring no anguish with them. The goodwill of the world may be harsh, but when you take my hand, it comes with rest and tranquility. The command from heaven is to remove the shackles of tension from your life today. In the name of Jesus, the spiritual warfare and familiar demons that have tormented you are silenced. You are now free. Every place where my spirit resides is marked by liberty, free from anxiety and strife. I have prepared a dwelling place for you where you will experience life like never before. I will bring you out of the cleft of the rock. You have asked to see my glory, and I have revealed myself to you and in you. Just as I have reached into the deepest parts of your being and ignited the embers of my splendor, Know that you are more than a minister, more than a member of a religious hierarchy. You are mine. I have claimed you through the shed blood, me dear brothers and sisters. Listen closely to the message of the heavenly messengers. This weekend, a divine shift is on the horizon. Stand strong and unwavering in your faith. In moments of weakness, let your faith shine bright. You are not just an ordinary mortal, but a foundation for those who will come after you. Your actions, no matter how small, will have a lasting impact on those around you. Be cautious, my brethren. Be as wise as serpents and as gentle as doves. While the world may live without accountability, know that your life holds great power. You have been raised up to be a shining example of holiness and devotion. Pursue your own dreams while also reaching out to save others. This is a time of recompense where the seeds you have sown in the past are beginning to bear fruit. Some will face the consequences of their choices, while others will taste the sweetness of their decisions. Speak of kindness and grace to those who are suffering. Let your words be a guiding light for those who feel trapped. Bring hope to the hopeless and rest to the weary. I see the commitments you have made. Even when it feels like no one sees your efforts, remember that heaven is watching. Encourage yourself as you continue on your journey. Your destination is closer than you think. Stay persistent and vigilant, for nothing can hinder the promises I have made. The seeds you have planted and the effort you have put into improving yourself will bear fruit. Gather strength and courage for the days ahead. Rest in my favor when you feel tired and weary. Take time to laugh, 
relax, and be with loved ones. My favor is active even in your rest. Do not neglect the need for rejuvenation. I work while you rest, so enter into my rest. Enjoy this day and be ready for tomorrow. Embrace the grace to rise above burdens. I, the God of ease and light, have not chosen a heavy burden for you. Accept the yoke of my anointing, which breaks the chains of suffering. Drink deeply from the well of refreshment I provide. Step into abundant life, for it is your birthright as one reborn. You are above, not beneath. I have exalted you above all powers and principalities. No other hand shall touch you but mine. Refuse to be entangled in the material world. I have made you a master of it. Just as I calmed storms and multiplied food, the essence of who I am within you calms the storms in your soul and provides for your needs. Embrace this truth and the principle of ascension enabled by Calvary. I have set you free from striving and toiling. Your time has come to rest. The blessings I bestow bring no anguish. In the name of Jesus, spiritual warfare is silenced. You are free. Every place where my spirit resides is marked by liberty, free from anxiety and strife. I have prepared a dwelling place for you where you will experience life like never before. I will bring you out of the darkness. You have asked to see my glory, and I have revealed myself to you. You are more than a minister, more than a member of a religious hierarchy. You are mine. I have claimed you through the blood of Jesus. Amen.